Hello, I'm Lou and I'm the author of The Worry Jar. My new book is all about worrying. Everybody has worries, they can be big worries or small worries um, and Frida, the little girl in the story, worries about all sorts of things. She worries about what she should wear, should she wear her sun hat or should she wear her wellies. She worries about whether she might sink to the bottom of the pool in her swimming lessons and she worries about who she should play with when she's at school. Frida collects pebbles everywhere she goes. She collects one pebble for every worry. And sometimes the worries feel so heavy that they weigh her down, just like the pebbles that she keeps in her pockets. My favorite thing about writing the story was Frida's special relationship with her granny. She really loves it every Saturday when granny comes to stay. Um, and every Saturday they do a special activity together. Granny's got this special knack of being able to make Frida feel better. On one particular Saturday, she comes along and she has a great solution for helping Frida with her worrying. And together they make a worry jar. And I really liked writing this story because I love pebbles myself. I collect pebbles, you can see them all here. I collect pebbles everywhere I go. Um, this one is my special pebble. Um, I like it because I think it looks a bit like a duck. Um, maybe not. Uh, and I really like this one too because it's all sorts of interesting colours and it also looks a little bit like a snail. I especially like pebbles when they feel like really smooth to the touch as well. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how you can make your own Murray jar. First of all you need a jar. I like this one because it's nice and big which means I can fit lots of my pebbles in it and it's got a really useful lid that you can just push on top like that. Um, you can decorate your jar. I've got some nice things here that we could use to decorate it. Um, I'm going to put some ribbon around the top. You can choose any colour that you like. I'm going to choose this one which is red and spotty and just tie it around the top like this. I've also made a little label here, which has got my name on it. So you could make your own label, label and write your name on it. I'm just gonna use some of the glue to make sure it sticks on really nicely. Like that. And then because my ribbon is spotty, I think what I'm going to do is add some of these uh, stickers that I've got here um, to make it a spotty themed jar. So here's a nice green one and I've got some purple ones here as well. And I've also got some hearts, I might put a heart on as well. Put that on that side and I'm going to have another green one. But really you can put whatever you like on your jar. Um, I've got some nice sparkly bits and pieces here which you could use or you could put some buttons on, anything that you like really. And then when you've made your jar your own and you've finished decorating it, then it's time to put your pebbles in. In the story, Frida picks up pebbles everywhere she goes. She picks up a pebble on the way to school because she's not really sure what to wear. Should she wear her sun hat or should she wear her wellies? And she picks up another pebble in the playground later because she's not really sure who to play with. And when Granny comes to stay and she helps Frida to make her worry jar, they put all of Frida's pebbles into the jar, one by one, one pebble for each worry. And you can do the same, so if you've collected pebbles and you're worrying about things, you can put all of your pebbles into your worry jar, one by one, and then when you're finished, you can pop the lid on and keep all your worries safe in the jar so you don't need to worry about them anymore.